Tell her about the forecast today. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny days, sunny days, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's been a freaking day. Welcome back to the social beaches. Um, I'm Kelly Bowling with the Coastal Estate Team. And I'm Carolyn Smith. We sell real estate in Brevard County on the Space Coast and down into the Treasure Coast in Indian River County. So if you're looking to buy or sell, we would love to hear from you. Our number is 321-422-2160. Or you can email us at hello at coastalestateteam.com. Yes. And today we're going to talk about 10 things we hate about Florida. <laughs> Now, while we I do enjoy this. living here, there yes. are things that, you know, nothing's perfect. You yes. know, there's always going to be flaws. Yes. Well, we, we don't want to insult any state, but there's still some states we're glad we don't live in. So, yes. yeah, we still prefer Florida. But the first one is love bugs. Ugh. And love bugs are a twice a year fun thing, usually. So May and September, I think. Yeah. May and September. And those little critters, like hit your car and oh, they cover your car paint. they will ruin your paint so they said like if you put like a bounce dryer sheet and rub a bounce dryer mm -hmm. sheet right that keeps them from sticking yeah and there's something about putting like something white out like oh. outside that they will flock to that so like you know we have white cars and okay. you know they like to flock to they our cars they do flock to our cars and then when we're showing houses like sometimes we'll go up and they'll be outside and then you open the door oh, and they swarm you or they have already gotten in somehow. Like there's been some sort of gap in the, in the weather right. stripping or something and they're all over the foyer and they're dead. And they're dead. No. Oh gosh. They and don't just bite mad. or anything. It's just like no. a nuisance. Really. They're a nuisance yeah. bug. The, the worst thing about them I think is they take the paint off your car. So if you are not um, a Florida person and you come visit and love bugs get on your car, Go to the car wash. Yeah, we got lots of car washes. Yeah, so. go to the car wash, <laughs> get that. them off. They'll yeah. even charge you an extra fee for like love bug removal. Yes. It's like a couple bucks. Yeah, yeah, do that. Mm -hmm. The next thing is, you know, the 125% humidity that we get to have yeah. here um, and what it does to our hair. <laughs> so lots of hair product required. I know our yeah. hairdressers are thrilled because, yes. you know, all the commissions they make on the stuff they sell yeah. us, right? Yeah. Um, but the humidity is real. I know I moved here when I moved in 2008. It was August. Oh, gosh, and it was worst. so hot and all of my clothes were packed in a dresser like in the in the trailer and yeah. i had only brought jeans because it was not hot hot oh. in maryland when i moved down like it was maybe a cooler time i was literally they were soaked you could probably wring the sweat out of them by the time we got to the dresser i'm like i'll be right back <laughs> be right back i had to change into some shorts so i became a shorts girl then yeah um but now that i'm acclimated you know, and they so have some good hair stuff. So I just ordered some stuff yesterday. We'll see. It's called like good behavior or something. Oh, yes. Gotta tame it. Yeah. Good behavior. And they say that you spray it on and it's like supposedly like makes it where it's like humidity less. Humidity less? Humidity less. Mm -hmm. Less humidity. We should put that in our swag bags for the people who are moving here from somewhere else. How fun would that be? Honestly, that's good. <laughs> we should do some fun Florida yeah. products. That and yeah, something for love books. All right. The next one is the sargassum on the beach, which is seaweed yeah it's like red or brown it's yes you'll see it out in the water like in clumps so yes. like the water's gross with it and then it's all over the beach so when you're walking on the beach it's just like clumps of this seaweed it's disgusting and it, and it smells in, terrible yeah it rots yes. it rots once it's up and you're not it's illegal in our area anyway to yeah. remove it yeah. i know that other areas they, like they do miami beach they yeah. clean the beach and they get rid of it so that the beach is nice and pretty but it does it's part of our ecosystem part here of our ecosystem and that's yeah. why we have it and then like the sand will come and you know yeah. cover it up and it'll it decompose feeds. it feeds something yeah, what, I sure. don't know what eats it. Something yeah. eats it. So it's. But I still don't like it. It's I don't like gross. it either. And it smells and it, uh, yeah, it, it makes me itchy. Yeah. Does it make you itchy? I feel uh, like. Well, I try not to touch it. I come into contact. <laughs> like the last time I went and walked on the beach and it was there, I kept my full shoes on while we walked because I'm like, I'm not walking on that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the next thing now, they have these in other places too, obviously. Um, I know I grew up with, with these as a problem in the warmer months, but mm. snakes. And then mm. the game that you always are playing when you see one is like, is that the good kind or the bad kind? And in my book, they're all bad because I don't want any of them. And I know that there are technically good ones that are like non-venomous and you know, the eat the, eat the rats this. and yes. the things that you don't want mm -hmm. also at your house. But um, yeah, I don't like to see them. I had one in my house one time in my living room and my lawn guy was outside mowing the grass and I left my, my children were very small at the time. They were like, 
maybe one and three. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't care about you. I ran out the front door <laughs> screaming, help. <laughs> My long guy's like, what is that lady doing? I'm like, there's a snake in my house. Can you get rid of it? And he's like, do you have a broom and a bucket? I'm like, I got a mop. Will that work? I got a hatchet. Can and you take you? <laughs> bless him. He came in the house. He used the mop, put it in a bucket, and then he deposited it like in the lot next door. And I'm like, yeah. no, why didn't you kill it? Yeah. Like when I grew up, you would take a shovel and, yeah. you know, take care of business. But and yeah. then you had one. I had one. So before I tell my story, it's like, do you know they have the little rhymes? But you can never, like, orange and yellow will kill a fellow, but yellow and orange. It's like, because they have different, the black racers are fine, by the way, people. Yes, little those are black. scary looking. They're scary, oh. but they're they're black and whatever, they're and fine. And they move too fast. But the other ones, I'm like, I can never remember the damn rhyme. I'm like, what was the rhyme? Is it <laughs> is it the deadly one or is it the good one? So I'm like, let's just take it out. But yes, I walked in my bedroom, my bedroom oh, once, geez. and my blinds were closed, so it was dark. And I see something on the far side of the room past the bed. And I'm like, that looks weird. What is that? It was a snake and it was, you know, sitting up or whatever. So it's heads up. Oh, like geez. It's in the head up position. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, I, just, I kept getting closer and closer and I'm like, that's a snake. And then you don't know what to do. You're like, if I leave and I come back and it's gone. Then where is it? Where is it? Is it in my bed? Yeah. Is it under the bed? Where is it? So anyway, Kyle was out in the front yard. So I ran out there. I was doing yard work. And I'm like, there's a snake in the house. A... And he's he's like moseying in like, yeah, right. You know, uh -huh. it's probably like a sock or something, you know, <laughs> that I'm just being an idiot. So he walks in the bedroom. He goes, oh, it is a snake. Uh, hello <laughs> i told you it was a snake and he grabs a pair of my sweatpants and throws them oh, no. on the snake and picks it up <gasps> yes and i'm i am oh like, no and he did the same dumb thing he threw it over into the neighbor's yard like it's just gonna come back it, it, it remembers this house it's a homing <laughs> pigeon it's coming back to the bedroom it is <laughs> I couldn't sleep for like a whole week. Every time I would get up in the middle of the night and my bedroom's upstairs and it was in the living room downstairs where I found it. I thought it was an electrical cord actually. Um, but every time I was sure it was going to be yeah. in the toilet. Yes. Did you see the TikTok? The lady that found one in her toilet? Oh, no, I saw the one where the lady was drinking the wine and drinking the wine. And it's like, she's like, there's a snake. She points over and it's like wrapped around her window. And yes. this is not, that was not a little snake. No, it was big. It was long. That was a monster snake. And she's like, I can't leave. I called the 911. She's like, we don't have animal services in my county. They said to call pest control. And I'm like, oh it's my gosh. The night. She's, she's like, I'm drinking wine and watching it. Cause as soon as I don't watch it, it it'll moves. be gone. And then you got to figure out where, the where did it go? Yes. Th those are the worst. I, all I know is from then on, every time I got up to go to the bathroom and I got my phone there, I had to put my flashlight on, on my phone. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm like, was well, sure that that homie pigeon snake. <laughs> it's coming back <laughs> it's coming for back. revenge. How dare you? Yeah. Me? Oh my gosh. Uh. And the next one is I-4. Mm -hmm. So if you've traveled in central Florida, yes. then you already know. Yes. It's like, the worst. I-4 is the worst. It, it's not on our coast, I guess. It's no. more on but the west side. But if we're trying side. to go to Orlando or Tampa, Tampa. there's kind of no getting around it. And yes. if you're trying to go to the parks. Yes. You know. It is without fail. So if you're driving from here to Tampa and you have to be on I-4 for like half the drive, let's say half the drive distance wise or not even half, but you're at least going to hit three major accidents. So make sure you pee. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure. Every single time I get to that one rest stop, that's like, yeah. you know, on the way there to yes. Tampa, I always have to pull over because I've been sitting in yes. traffic. Yes. in I-4. And it can be hours and it's always something, and there's not really a go around. No. And I feel sorry for people that have to do this every day as part of the commute. I couldn't it's do terrible. it. I couldn't do it. Terrible. We're yeah. so lucky over here. Yeah. So the other thing that we don't love and that we hate, mm -hmm. um, hurricanes and not having power. So yeah. the hurricanes in themselves, like they suck, yes. But then when you don't have power for like four days after or in even August, longer. Yeah, or August. Why can't they come in like when it's cold? January, February, yeah. we can open the windows, have yes. a cool breeze. No, they come at like the hottest time of the year. Um, it's so hot. And all you just open, you go outside yes. and all you hear is generators running. Generators. It's, and smell the gasoline. and. Yeah. Yeah, it's not and you fun. so you should get like I have a small generator so I can power like my fridge right. and a fan, and my yeah. charger for my yeah. phone, that kind of stuff. But I don't have one of those whole house ones yeah. that runs your AC. We've looked into that, and it was very expensive. It's yeah. like twenty thousand dollars for a whole house. And I house. feel like because we have really high salt content here, and I feel like mm -hmm. everything outside rusts. That if you put in a 
permanent generator sitting outside, it's, it's going to rust. Gonna Just like my AC unit. That's my yeah. biggest hesitation to like, why would I go pay for that? Because... I yeah. might not, it's like the snowblower when you live up north. Yes. You buy it and you don't need it. Yeah. For years. And then yes. the generator would probably, I would use it one time, not use it again, and then boom, here yeah. comes another one and it doesn't work. You yeah. Know? And there goes another 20,000. And I think right? they give me more than that. And plus, then they cycle every week and I don't yeah. know, it's expensive. Next one. Florida drivers, which we're not going to blame the Florida drivers. It's just everybody that moves here from elsewhere. I mean, it's everyone or visiting. When I first moved here, Inside of the first month that I lived here mm -hmm. in Florida, I got mm -hmm. rear-ended at a stoplight, oh, very little damage. Took the car to the shop, got it repaired, yeah. no big deal. And then like three weeks later, we're driving home. My husband was driving the car. His daughter was in the back seat. We got rear-ended by a car that was doing 40 miles an hour as we were turning into our neighborhood. Thank God he was driving because he averted us from like driving into somebody's front of oh, their house. Gosh, yeah. um, but it totaled the car. I was like... $2,500 from paying that thing off, of course. Uh, and I'm like, really? But I've been in so many fender benders here, like not caused by me. It's yes. other people running into me, backing into me. You have to be super defensive. Like when yeah. I was teaching my kids to drive, I'm like, the most important thing to know in Florida driving mm -hmm. is just be prepared. Watch everybody else because if they can do something stupid, they're they going will. to, especially the circles, the, oh, the, the roundabouts, circle. yeah. the traffic circles in Vieira. Like there's a sign. It says these two lanes can go this a diagram way. Of how this to person do it. will just cut in front of you. But you know that it's coming because you're a defensive driver. So oh, yeah. you know they're going to cut in front of you. So you just like you're hold back. You're anticipating it. Yeah. yeah for hold sure. back. Be prepared. Uh, the next one is Orlando Airport. It, mm, don't go. Just don't do it. <laughs> don't. You got to be there so early to get through security. The parking lots are flipping full all the time. All the time. All, all the time. time. You'll like look on their website like these parkings are full. So you must park at one of these offsite places. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, just kind of everything about Orlando. Um, yeah. I don't have any desire. I, I know people love going to the parks and I don't know how you do it. It's hot. It's crowded. Things. Not interested, but... A lot my of people kids do. Like the, my kids like the parks, I yeah. will say. They do, they like them, but Orlando is just is so many people and so many tourists. And nobody knows where they're going because they don't right. live there. Yeah. So they're it's like trying to figure out where I to go. I do, though, like the mall over there, the Millennium Mall. They like the Millennium Mall. It's because it reminds me of the malls back home. Yes. Yeah. The ones over here, not Tampa so much. International Plaza is good, too. Is it? Yeah. Oh, have you not been there? I haven't there? been there. I don't think. Maybe. I don't know. I have to ask Carissa. Did I go there? Maybe. I may you would know. There. I don't know. It's, a, it's, we went to a mall like around Christmas time and yeah. shopped and it was very crowded. Oh, good mall. Okay. Yeah. Construction everywhere and roofing nails. Mm -hmm. So I can't tell you how many, it, I want to say to the roofing guys, like invest in one of those, what are those things with like the metal, metal, like the magnet? Stick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get your nails off the road, please. Please, because yes. we, you know, we're realtors, we're driving in new construction communities. I cannot tell you how many tires I've gone through. And tires are expensive. They are very and, expensive. And it's a roofing nail every single time. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they can patch them, but usually actually they cannot. Depends, so then you need yeah. a new tire. And then your next time you go through the new home community, I'm tempted to like, can I just park like a way on the outside and walk in or... Mm -hmm. It's why the um, salespeople use the golf carts. Oh, because those I think, tires are yeah. cheap. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that's why they use the golf carts. That makes a lot of sense. Because it's it's terrible. Yeah. So if you are driving through a new construction community, drive like now I drive in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. I drive right in the middle because I'm like, they're, they tend they're to be more. They're on the edges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I feel like the last one is probably the thing I hate the most. Yes. Um, and that's the cost of insurance. And we've talked about how expensive homeowners insurance is and it's mm -hmm. continuing to increase and people are getting dropped. But also car insurance. My Crazy. monthly, we have four vehicles because we have two mm -hmm. adult children who are driving as well. And my husband and I both have cars. Our monthly payment has gone up by $200 a month from like six months ago. Mm -hmm. So like every time one renews, yeah. the each of the policies get more expensive. We don't have any accidents. We don't no. have any tickets. No. You know, granted, we do have, like I said, adult children. So I have a 19-year-old and I have a 23-year-old. Yes. But I don't understand. It's, it makes no sense to me the amount of money we're paying for car insurance. Yeah. So we were just saying that between homeowners, flood, and car insurance, it's... Well, I don't even know how much it is because car insurance alone, I think is like, was, did I say like it's almost a thousand dollars a month or it's like $10,000 a year just yeah. for car insurance. Yeah. It's crazy. Mine it's not quite, but it's currently, close. like for next month. And we still have one policy that hasn't like renewed yet. So yeah. 
I think next month is 750 ish and yeah. then the, the month after it'll be like 800 a month yeah. which yeah that's probably where we are some people's mortgages aren't that do you yeah know? Like that's ridiculous. And that's just car. And then you still have your homeowner. So my homeowners came for renewal and I'm afraid to like shop it out. People are like shop it out. But with companies leaving the state now, it's like if you're offered a renewal with your current company, don't you feel like stay put? (laughs) So it's almost $7,000 a year for my homeowners. I get all the discounts. I'm maxed out on discounts. When I bought that house, it was like 2000. Yeah. 2000. I'm afraid because mine's coming. My renewals in October. So I'm, I'm very concerned. It went up last year to like four grand a year. Um, That's good. Gosh, I wish. Well, the first year when we bought the house yeah. back in 2015, it was like yeah. 1800 a year. Yeah. You know, I'm telling you when mine came, I couldn't believe it. And I have, you know, all the discount I mean, things. Think about what that adds to your monthly payment, because if you have a mortgage, it's so yes. much money. I almost didn't renew now. So I'm in an area I don't have to have flood insurance, but I can have flood insurance. And I've always gotten it because it's been reasonable. And that went to seven ninety five a year. Yeah. Cue all the people on TikTok saying, that's cheap. That's cheap. Well, you know, it's cheap because I'm not in a flood zone. Right. And it yeah. is cheap. It's cheaper than, you know, if somebody who's in a flood zone who's not. By the way, if you are in a flood zone, you can get mitigation if your elevation is high. Yes, so that's we'll true. that. So, you yeah, know, we do love Florida, but there we are, do. there are flaws. There are flaws, but <laughs> there sure. are flaws anywhere. Yes. You know, it's worth it. It's worth it. We still like it. Yeah. We, still, we haven't left. Yeah. <laughs> We're not trying to move. So. Yeah. We're trying to move you here. Yeah. So call come, us. Come join us. You can tell us what you hate and love about Florida. <laughs> That's right. We've okay. really done a good job of selling it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun this week. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see you next time. That's all we have for today. Yep. That's it. See ya. Cheers. Cheers. Sunny day, sunny day. No clouds in the sky, but a